Hi there. So here we are. Now the difficulty is going to be deciding exactly where to locate because, let me just show you, we're on top of a little hill. Out there is actually a Heimgarten, but as you can see, a fire would be rather visible through this fire break and we're right on top of the hill. I want a fire. Over there. Oh, good, but again, it's a little bit on the wrong side of the hill. And here, we have more gorgeous landscape. So I think what's going to happen is I'm either going to go down there a little bit, or maybe slightly behind the brow of the hill. But I like that first place better because it has way more wood. As you can see, this is a logging area. And so we have absolutely masses of standing firewood and hanging firewood. So I'll decide what we're going to do. And I'll be back to you in a bit. So, here we are my friends, ready to go. I want to uh, tell you a little bit about my uh, equipment here, my, uh, my clothing gear. I'm wearing a buffalo jacket. It's a very unique piece of kit. You wear it next to your skin with nothing else underneath and you uh, use it, you vent it. As you can see here, really it's just me and my skin. The idea is that you're always warm. It has pile on the inside, a, like a fleece kind of material and it wicks immediately all of the uh, moisture away from your skin and into uh, the air. It has a, a lot of venting opportunities so you never overheat too much. Very, very warm. When I stop moving and it's time for some warmth, I zip up all of the vents, put on my trusty Alpine cap and my lower, my uh, Fjallraven cape here. Very uh, warm. It uh, gives me the warmth I need, but I still have a lot of flexibility and a lot of aeration. And uh, it's also very, really good for sleeping in. So as to the sleeping setup, uh, this is kind of unique. What I have here is a, uh, a, a, um, uh, a hammock, a Jarvan bag, and a Jarvan bag is actually a sort of a multi-purpose uh, Arctic survival piece of kit. It's like an insulated, waterproof, reflective survival bag space blanket thing. It's incredibly strong and it's got lots of zips so you can use it as a bivouac sack, you can use it as a as a as a rain cover, you can use it as a poncho. Today I'm going to use it as an insulated tent for my sleeping bag. And inside that I'll have my trusty mountain serap, which is also a a great poncho um, blanket and uh, sleeping bag style of equipment. I like things that can do more things than one. So when I actually sleep in a bit, I'll have this on with this over the top and I'll close the Jarvan bag and I'll have a, a microclimate in there that's really very warm. Um, I'll actually spread the top of the Jarvan bag a little bit and then I can even hang a, uh, a candle lantern in there on my, uh, on my ridge line and I will be more than cozy. Um, so that's what we're doing today, um, just trying all that out. We don't really need the tarp at the back, but I just had it set up while I was um, getting ready. And also I like to have a little bit more um, protection uh, from the wind at the back. Um, but like I say, if we wanted to save on weight, then we really wouldn't need it. With this same setup, I could also uh, build a snow cave with my uh, trusty shovel over there and be just as comfortable. But today we just don't have nearly enough snow to uh, be able to do that. So next is uh, make some food and uh, then it'll be probably getting dark, actually not long from now. So I'll see you later.
Well, folks, I can tell you what, this is pretty good. This is the inside of my setup here. I'm inside what is essentially an insulated bag, an insulated tent, a Jervin bag. Here's my hammock. It's my poncho syrup here. And I am wearing my Fjell Raven cape, which gives me some extra um, uh, insulation on my chest and back. I've got my uh, special condensation uh, catcher here, so that my sleep me dark doesn't get bored or wet from my condensation, from my breath. Thank you very much, bro. And uh, I can tell you what, this is very, very cozy. I've got a mat underneath my uh, back, and uh, yeah, the back is a little bit open over there, so that I don't get too much damp in here, but I'm telling you what, it's feeling pretty nice in here, and it is very cold outside. Everything's frosting up, beautiful blue starry sky, but right now in here, it is warm and cozy. Bye for now.